Hello friends, we're back for another Hunter Hunter reaction. Today we're checking out episode 90. Now in the last episode, what happened? We got the conclusion to the Knuckle and Gon fight, which we thought was the real fight. Apparently it wasn't the real fight, so go figure. So Knuckle was beating Gon handily, but he got complacent. He got uh he put himself in a position where he was distracted by the Jajanken paper. He was a position in a position to get maybe killed by the Janken Rock, right? And uh, unfortunately, Gon like lost out on Aura, like he didn't have enough, so the attack failed. And Gon recovers. Kilua has a training session with Bisky. We find out that Kilua doubts himself. He doesn't want to fight people. He thinks has an advantage over him like we kind of get that right when you when you're like in a fight you kind of have an, an idea who's who's going to be stronger or stuff like that especially if you're not trained um so in his case whenever it appears like he's the underdog he kind of gives up right away which is you know a very it's very good in terms of survival but you know when when you're in a fight where you can't run you have to fight that could really hold you back because, you know, the mentality is even if you have like an opening to attack, you're not going to attack because you're you're thinking of the counter attack. You know, you're overthinking it, basically. So this episode, we're supposed to get the real fight. It's going to be Kilua versus Shoot, Gon versus Knuckle. So without further ado, let's check it out. Yaksukuduri! Hanakara! Oh, okay. And the theme, right? It's not the knuckle theme, it's like the combat theme. Oh, no, no, it is the knuckle theme. I mistake. Oh, okay, he's using N, right? That's like a form of N. Similar to uh, what Nobunaga did. Anything that enters this area, you, you're aware of it. Oh, this is his Hatsu! Interest. Okay. I lent you some aura. Oh! So he lends you aura and every 10 seconds he charges interest. Bankrupt, huh? This is, an, this is a very interesting ability. It's not straightforward at all. Chapter 7 Bankruptcy. APR I mean, he could have even designed it to be more annoying Like, if it was talking all the time Oh, he got Pancho, eh? It doesn't hurt Another rush of power Oh, he lent him aura to defend. Yeah. Okay, okay. I do like this one. This is what's missing in a lot of animes, which I'm happy they are pointing this out, that... Their aura, you know, in, in other animes, you could equivalent that to like key spirit energy. They have a way to quantify it. So Knuckle having an ability that is based on, you know, percentage of aura and all that. He has a good understanding of how much aura would be. You know, he could gauge the opponent that this opponent probably has, you know, thousand or a million aura but it's measured right you can't just 
power up out of nowhere something like that it's it's a it's a good gauge to see actual power levels right Maximum aura output potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a limit. Or there should be a limit. I mean, as expected, <laughs> Gon, Gon didn't get any of that. So if you go over your maximum aura potential, you have no way to pay it back. And you'll bust, was it? Yeah, you'll bust. It's really... It's like poker terms. <laughs> Interest keeps accumulating. Yep. Two minutes. Yeah, like credit cards, right? Yep. Dude! Dude, I love this! Like, Knuckle was able to quantify exactly how long it takes for you to lose. IRS, ah? <laughs> Oh shit! For 30 days? Dude, you are vulnerable for 30 days. You're like an ordinary human. So it sounds like that would be very effective um, if he has the ability to stall. You basically just need to stall, right? And your opponent will eventually hit uh, bankrupt through interest. Like, dealing damage helps uh, quicken that, but if you don't have enough power to deal damage, your best uh, your best option is just to stall, keep running, right? Something like that. By the time his stamina goes down, you would lost all your aura, or you would go uh, bankrupt. Which is not enough for the 10 second uh, interest. Hey, two, you need 200 at least. Yep. A drop in the bucket. Gone is pissed. He's like. Fuck this. This annoying ability. Oh, this is the thing. He doesn't... He assumes by... He assumes by connection to Knuckle. He's superior. And that's gonna... That's gonna make it hard for Kilwa to fight. He has three hands for his left hand. Dude, this is sick. How did you even do that? Hold up. Okay, okay. So he has to be some form of a manipulator to like control those hands, unless those are Nen hands. He probably did like the cheat code where you sacrifice your arm to show like the resolve to power up your Nen even further. So uh controlling these hands probably doesn't take much Nen at all because you're already amplified by the sacrifice. And, and that cage, what the hell is that cage? I wouldn't blame Killua here, because it is creepy, right? Yeah, those are Nen. Actually floating. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 most likely a manipulator. I thought it was Nen hands too, but it's not. But that lamp is, you know, it's... Freaky. Okay, we got the yo-yos. 
Oh! Okay, okay. It's making a shield. Dude, even shoot is starting to like be afraid. Oh, he's fast. I mean, I mean, that's the thing. It could be a decoy. Oh, what was that? Oh, he got palm strike. Dude, Illumi definitely did something to him. It's probably being manipulated somehow that whenever danger is upon him, he has to retreat. Right? Something like that. Dude, manipulators are so underrated. <laughs> Oh! It's gone? Oh my god. Illumis curse. Illumis Oh, we got the Kilua team! The electric guitar? Oh, it's a blind spot! Dude, so if you get hit... If your eye get hits by his punch, you go you go blind. Oh, Kilua! It's going full assassin mode. Oh, he's gonna go with the lightning. He knew? How did he know? He did his research? Oh my god! It's stopping him from attacking! Dude, this sucks! It sucks! Oh my god! You can't even attack even if you wanted to. Gon to Kirua ga warifu wo kaketa tatakai wo shite iru chowdo sono koro. Yeah, what's happening with the ants? Oh! the Okay, so the king has... Okay, that's the episode. Amazing episode. So it looks like the king has a shape already. So, like, it's just, you know, maybe in the next episode or two, it's going to be born. That's going to be exciting. We got Gon versus... Um, knuckle the real fight for for real for real <laughs> so knuckle showed his uh i forgot the name was it apr or something like that i guess you need to hit him first that's what it looked like so he summons this like nen beast that allows knuckle to lend his opponent's aura and he charges interest for the lent aura basically to make a long story short if you cannot pay back the aura that he lends you, it keeps accumulating interest. And if it goes above your potential output, then you get put in a state of Zetsu. So, like, anyone can kill you. That's basically the ability. Kilowa fight shoot. Unable to, like, fight to his potential because of, like, whatever trauma Illumi has on him. Like, I think it it has it is something Nen-related. Because they keep they keep showing him, so that's probably some uh, he's being controlled in a minor way to like avoid danger, uh, you know, dangerous situations, something like that. So yeah, that's the episode. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.